Hello, here in Las Vegas. Uh, first time staying at the Bellagio. Check out our room. There's the bed, there's the lounge area. That's pretty much it. Let's check out the bathroom. Ooh, bathroom is nice. Two sinks, tub, shower, got a bidet. As always, a phone in case you want to poop and call someone. Okay, I think I have a TV on your, on your mirror. Oh, there we go. Closet, slippers, robe, but this is the best part. View of the Bellagio Fountain, way over there. We're actually gonna go see BTS in concert. First time ever. So figure before going to LA, stop in Vegas for a few days, the buffets are all open. I'm gonna check out the Bellagio buffet hopefully tomorrow. And then make reservations at the Bacchanal. I hear they made some improvements. We're gonna check that out. Tonight though, since it's a Saturday, it's so crowded outside. Let's check out the in-room dining options here. The Bellagio is definitely more of an old school hotel. Again, I never stayed here before. So in-room dining. There's the Bellagio Express, which is available 24 hours, or Bellagio Classics. So the Express about 30 minutes will deliver to your door. Classic about 50 minutes, both offer 24 hours a day, but the Classic has a $100 minimum spending charge. So you better order a lot, or actually this is a Las Vegas Casino. That's probably just like two items. And the menu items are pretty uh, typical stuff like Caesar salad, chicken tenders, quesadilla, chicken club sandwich, cheeseburger, some steak option, eat a cauliflower steak. I really don't think I'm gonna be able to order a hundred dollars worth of stuff here. Forget it, let's just go out for dinner. I've been wanting to try the Japanese barbecue for a long, long time. So basically they recommend getting an assorted meats and it comes in a bolt. I only have sushi that comes in a bowl. I think even a bowl would be cool too. Oh, I like it when restaurants offer dips, especially when it's at a barbecue place. Last year they just got a little more crazy. Oh my people just came. Wow. Wow, look at this. It is literally a bowl of beef. I like that, thank you. There's rib finger, flank steak, thick cut of tongue, skirt, short rib, all wagyu. I mean, this is a bolt that I will want to get on. <laughs> I will want to take it for this bolt any day of the week. Uh, first of all, the mushrooms are done. Let's start cooking. Let's do the flank steak first. Couple pieces of the flank steak. Mushroom delicious. Each meat, you grill it for about a minute. Do not want to overcook this. Take the meat, and there's two types of sauce. This is a regular barbecue sauce, and this is a garlic sauce. Let's try the regular barbecue sauce. Mm. Oh, so juicy. So juicy, wonderfully beefy. Oh man, this thing is just glistening. Like, just came back from the gym. Garlic sauce. Mmm. Mmm. There we go. Oh, let me do so good. Wow. Eat it with the mushroom. It's incredibly delightful. All right, this is the Wagyu Premium Finger Rib. This is something I have in Korean barbecue all the time. This is called kolats. Mm. Oh. That is a premium bite of meat. Mm. I wish there's a knife here so I can kind of like savor this more, cut this in half, but you know what? Actually, these things are so tender. Just bite off a little bit at a time. I never want this bolt to end. All right, this is something I had in South Korea. Thick cut of beef tongue. And they warn me about this. They're like, are you sure you want to eat this? Because it's something that some people may not be used to. Trust me, you want beef tongue. You want a thick cut of beef tongue. 
Look at the marbling on this thing. That is just scrumptious. Tiny bit bouncy, almost a little crunchy. At the same time, so tender and juicy. <sighs> oh, this is the best one. Look at the marble on this baby. This needs to be cooked with precision and care. This thing is sizzling so nicely. There's so much fat in these two pieces of meat. Oh, flowy butter. Oh, that's good. Again, I'm usually into buffets when I'm in Las Vegas and I wish this place would have a buffet version of like an unlimited bowl that just keep docking at your mouth. And I know there's a ton of other all you can eat barbecues out there in Las Vegas, but I gotta say, if you want something that's quality, come check this place out. Also, unlimited matcha tea. First breakfast, there's a new noodle place called Noodle Heads, and it's supposed to be authentic Asian noodles and tapas. Heard good things about this place. This is a relatively new place. Okay, what we got? Destroy noodles, yee, bean burning noodle. Whoa, that looks good. Ground beef, pepper, shredded chicken. Then you got the soup noodles on the other side, beef brisket, citron beef brisket. I think I'm gonna go for that. That's a classic one. Uh. Your Uh, you you I She said I look Korean. I think that 8.4% is really shining through. Maybe it's the shirt. This dish, this is a dry noodle. It's called Yibin Jamin. Yibin burning noodle. And Yibin is a city in Sichuan. I like how it's like not too much because I ordered a lot of noodles today. Look at this. Chili peppers, ground peanuts, ground meat. I smell the peppercorn, of course chili oil on the bottom. Before that, got some saliva chicken. Mm. Oh, that chicken's tender. Sauce a little creamier than I'm used to. A bit sweet, still pretty good. Hong Yu Chao Shou. Oh, a big blob of garlic on top. Mm. This one's pretty good. Good amount of heat, tons of garlic, super thin wrapper with a nice big chunk of meat inside. And they brought something that wasn't on the menu. Seaweed knots. This is an ingredient that you typically see a lot in a hot pot. And I was kind of afraid this was gonna be kind of kind of soggy and, and not, and chewy. That's really crunchy. Texture makes so much difference in that dish. In Chinese, we call those liang cai, like cold dishes. This thing's gonna match the noodles perfectly. This is borderline addictive. First of all, the noodles are extremely chewy. Then as you chew, and by like the fourth or fifth chew, that umami flavor kicks in. And the only words that's popping into my head is the word xiang, which I said before, it's aromatic or fragrance. Like it just becomes more and more fragrant as you chew. And then after all that, 
when you think you're done, that's when the chilies really attack you. Wow, this is spicy. You got to be able to handle your chili. You got to be okay with habanero level spicy when you're ready to eat this. Wow. If you're a chili head, this is so extremely satisfying. The nice dish I got is the neo lime um, beef flank noodle soup with ribs on top. Okay, so these are the ribs on top and they have twig, so a little cartilage right here. So you can just bite through all that. Now, what is this? Yeah, this is the flank. Oh, these are so, these are stewed so well. Beautiful, luminous noodles. And of course, very traditional beef broth. It's gonna be soy sauce based. And of course, this being from Sichuan. I'm expecting a lot of spice and a lot of numminess. Yeah, this is magnificent. Very, very nice beef flavor. Mm. It's rich, it's smooth. Gotta add Chinese vinegar, 100% have to do it. Will make something good so much better. Anytime when you get like a dark based broth in Chinese cooking, adding Chinese vinegar, always the right move. <sighs> a little more. Like I said before, Chinese vinegar is not very acidic, so you can add a lot of it without really making the food not edible. Try a piece of this rib. Mmm. Oh, it's tender. Not just tender. Oh, this is delicious. Oh, this rib is awesome. Flank. This is a good bowl of beef noodle soup. I mean, a very good bowl of beef noodle soup. Noodles are chewy, great texture. Broth again, bringing that heat, that delicious beef flavor. And make sure to add the order of ribs. They'll ask you, what do you want to add this one at? The answer should always be yes. Oh, this is such a satisfying meal. Eat that with some of the seaweed bow ties. Mm. I would recommend get the soup one, get the dry one, share. I mean, I think they should put this on a menu. This is not on the menu yet, but this, this is really good to go with the noodles. Nice little cooling bite in between the heat. It just works so well with the spicy noodles. I'm already sweating. My nose is running a little bit. Usually that's a bad thing here in Las Vegas because usually pretty hot outside, but right now, a cool 70 degrees. And in Vegas, that's spicy noodle soup weather. Tonight, staying at the Crawford. So I was at this casino when it first opened, first day, going around the food courts. Um, so there's a lot of good food in this hotel. And you check in and they bring you a refreshment. Look at this. This is called the uh, Classic Blue. It is our herbal tea that's brewed with the butterfly pea flower, which gives it oh, a nice vibrant color. It's also caffeine free. It's made from orange lychee and wow. jasmine. So you do about a little drop in each cup here. When we mix the two together, the tea does react with citrus, so you'll see Whoa. it starts to change into more of a, a dark purple That's or beautiful. lavender color. So this is really cool. First of all, look at look how small the room keys are. It's like two regular hotel room key had a baby. Have you seen room keys this small before? Although this is easy to lose though. Oh, look at this. Wow, there are some high ceilings here. Let's go for a tour. Please note, items selected will be charged to your account once they're removed from the tray for longer than 30 seconds. Okay, so don't touch anything here. So this is your fridge. Bedroom, whoa. Again, super tall ceilings. Everything is very, very modern. Privacy drapes. Whoa. This is the strip view room. So, so you get the view of the strip here and there's a golf course over there. TV is giant, big speakers. Whoa, oh, this is a beautiful bathroom. You get a bathtub here so you can look out the window while soaking yourself. What's this? Bath caviar, what's a bath caviar? Oh, look at this. It's like little, like little pellets. I don't know what this does. I think maybe explodes in the water. Pooper, oh, what is this? What is this? You get a remote control in your pooper. I think I broke it. Oh, that's the button. Oh, it's a digital toilet seat. Look at this, cover. Let's see. Wow. It's like the toilet just said hello to me. 
Is this a closet? What is this? Big giant mirror. Dude, this is all closet space. Wow. This is what I really care about is slippers. <laughs> so how it works for food at the resort world is apparently, so the Crawford has a dining menu, but the other two hotels, the other two hotels, I think it's the Hilton and the Conrad. What they do, and you can do that as well here, is that they partner with Grubhub. Apparently you go on Grubhub and any restaurant, they'll, they'll have items available for in-room dining. You can order those items and they'll send it right to your room. So I'm gonna let my noodles digest a little bit and then let's try that. I just saw something really, really cool. I saw these like manicure kits. I didn't know what these were. And then let's look at this. A file, which is whatever. But they give you like a nail clipper and a tweezer. Huh. That's all. It might just, I don't know. I, I just got really excited seeing this. I mean, I probably won't really use the tweezer, but free nail clipper. Oh, I just realized there's a second bathroom here too. Too bad no manicure kit. Oh, also saw a gem on the way up. Gonna go check that out in the pool. Oh, this is such a nice gem. It's got everything. Whoa, look at all the Peloton bikes. Full waist set, full cardio equipment. Oh, this is gonna be amazing workout later. Oh, I love this. This is one of my favorite pieces of equipment. Oh, punching bags too. All right, just went for a swim. Let's eat. So scan the QR code and um, this pops up. This is uh, on the fly at Resort World, powered by Grubhub. There's over a dozen places here that you can get food from. So there's sushi, Starbucks if you want it, breakfast comfort food, Blood Bros Barbecue, I heard about this. Wow, there is so much selections. Gochujang St. Louis ribs, pulled pork jalapeno sausage, smoked beef brisket fried rice, Oh, this is great. So I can order from multiple places and just place it all in one basket. Mulberry Street Pizzeria, I think that's a New York place. Never heard of it. There's a restaurant called Bong Tong Ki with poached Hanani's chicken rice. Get some of that. There's Nori Bar, a sushi place. Get a couple rolls. Ooh, Toro Maki roll. I thought last time I came, there was lechon somewhere. I don't think I see it anymore. Ah, here we go. Lechon and truffle rice. And a seasick panini? Gotta try that. I feel like I got a lot already. So three different restaurants so far. Oh, I feel like I want something else. Oh yeah, Hananese chicken, rounds everything out. There we go. Now I just gotta wait for the food to arrive. And like I said, this hotel does have in-room dining. Avocado toast, build your own breakfast, uh, beef burger, sandwich, Wagyu ribeye for $180. Ooh. Sear salmon, brozino. Yeah, I, I think the Grubhub on the fly thing, that beats out this menu any day of the week. Hello. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Doorbell number two. Oh, Hi. Hi. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you. I saw the video. Yes. <laughs> thank yeah. you so much. Thank you. Appreciate Enjoy. it. Enjoy. Thank, thank you so you. much. Have a good night. Delivery number two. And I wish you could see outside right now. It's it's a view of the strip, uh, but you know you just see my backside. Pretty view otherwise. Here's what I got. Oh, gochujang ribs, high Hainanese chicken rice, seasig panini. Oh, this looks good. Oh, this is the lechon over fried rice. Brisket fried rice. And oh, here we go. This is the tuna rolls. Got my own sparkling water. I really recommend everybody when you go to Vegas, Stop by the local 7-Eleven, grab a bunch of water. It's the price of a water in a hotel room. Could have got yourself a brisket fried rice. The only thing I'm kind of mad about is I mixed up all the sauces that he gave me. I'm gonna have to just kind of guess what each thing is. Ooh, mmm, it smells like a Cajun barbecue sauce. Ginger, this is definitely for the Hananese chicken. Barbecue sauce. Start with the fried rice. Smells good. A little egg, a little peas in here. I see the brisket and first glance, kind of looks like the desert out there. A little dry.
Yeah, the brisket is dry. I mean, I guess it makes sense because it's about 7 p.m. now. I'm assuming this brisket will be something to cook in the morning. I mean, they do give you nice amount of meat in this little fried rice. I mean, the brisket, the flavor is good. The smoke is nice. Texture, not so much. I think this fried rice is just okay because this fried rice, for some reason, kind of soggy, kind of gooey. I mean, it's a little spicy. You can taste different herbs in here. I mean, just like the brisket. Flavor is good. Texture is where it has problems. I want to try the lechon. I don't want this thing to wait any longer. I got high hopes for this. Looks delicious, crispy piece of skin. Look at this. Ooh. Oh, yeah. The pig looks tender and juicy. Wow. I mean, this thing is still glistening. Fried rice looks good. Oh. If this thing tastes even half as good as it smells. This is gonna be an amazing dish. I mean, it smells so good. It's truffle fried rice. Tons, like pounding your senses amount of truffley flavor. Good ratio of fatty to lean meat. You got bits of skin, bits of fat. I am very, very excited about this. First of all, let me just take a bite of this. That's freaking delicious. That's skin anyway. It's so good. Wow. I mean, this thing is covered in pepper and seasoned perfectly in the crunch. I mean, you heard that. That was an earth shattering crunch. Let me try out a piece of the meat with the rice. Mm. Love this dish. Only complaint. The last one's a little too soggy. This one's a little too dry. Other than that, the pig is amazing. I mean, so soft and tender and flavorful. Mm, so juicy and delicious. They knocked it out of the park with this dish. I mean, to be able to order something like this in your room, have it delivered to you. I mean, this level of Filipino food with a awesome truffle twist. This is so good. I would highly, highly recommend this. Sisig panini. Okay, I see some ear pieces. This is not crispy. That is a little concerning some cheese, veg on the bottom. <laughs> I mean, the seasick doesn't have any crispy pieces. Having some crispy pieces in here will be the only thing that could make this amazing sandwich even better. This is so good. I saw it at first, I'm like, that's a seasick sandwich? It doesn't look like it could be that good. Oh, this is delicious. Toasty bun. Buttery, juicy, absolutely delicious pieces of pork. And there's tons of skin and fat, pieces of meat from the head, just absolutely melts in your mouth. This is an incredible, incredible sandwich. I wish I remember which dipping sauce this stuff came with. I'm just gonna dip it in here. I mean, it's crispy, as buttery. There's so many good textures in here. Wow. If you ever go to the food street downstairs, this is a can't miss item. Holy moly, it's delicious. Both dishes from the Filipino place. Absolutely knocked it out of the park. Wow. So impressed. Ooh, gochujang ribs. Wow, this looks delicious. Sesame scallions cover ribs. You see the smoke ring. Delicious looking crust on the outside. The good thing is about this, extremely smoky. You can taste the gochujang. The sauce works so well on ribs. The negative, again, just like his cousin did the brisket fried rice. This thing's been baking out in the Las Vegas sun way too long because it is dry. That wasn't very good. Two dishes that have so much potential. For me anyway, the texture is everything. So I was to grade them using the Asian grading scale. I would not give them an A. And you know what Asian without A is? It's sin. Next dish, okay. Hainanese chicken rice, add the ginger sauce on top. One of my favorite dishes of all time, it's Hainanese chicken rice. This is not particularly good Hainanese chicken rice. I mean, the flavor is okay. Texture is partially dry, partially soggy. The chicken, the big pieces especially, I mean, for me, a good Hainanese chicken rice, but chicken's gotta be super, super tender. This 
is not. Very tough to chew. I mean, I bet you this thing, if he steps in the boxing ring with Mike Tyson, Tyson might have trouble because this thing is tough. I wonder if a lot of these dishes I ordered would have tasted better like when it first came out, maybe. But as of now, the brisket, the ribs, the chicken rice, the juice and the tenderness, that's just not there. Finally, tuna maki roll and tuna nigiri. Not a sushi expert, but I think that's delicious. Not a sushi kick lately. I feel like every time I come back to Vegas, I want to go to all you can eat sushi places. And then even though I'm ordering food inside a hotel room, if I see sushi, I want it. And this thing just freaking melts in your mouth. I think the best thing tonight, 100% the lechon, the seasick panini, and this. I really like what they did here. I'm always thinking like, why just focus on the in-room dining menu? I mean, you gotta have that because you gotta have something like that 24 hours a day. This is Las Vegas, people come in at all hours, they wanna eat, they're hungry. But there's so many restaurants, every single one of these hotels, why not allow in-room dining to include all the options from all these hotels, like this one did. I mean, this is amazing. There's still restaurants I haven't tried yet because they're closed right now. So I'm gonna try that for breakfast. There's an egg sandwich place I really, really wanna try. I'm gonna do that for breakfast. But yeah, I love it. I mean, you don't have the fancy tray layout and all that. Who needs that though? Not really the food that matters. All right, gonna finish up. It's only six o'clock, so maybe go somewhere for dessert. Got a table outside. Sizzling brownie. Go ahead, go ahead. Sizzling brownie. Yeah, it's hot. Be careful. Uh, hot. Be careful. Be careful. Spit it out. Mm. You just let it burn your mouth. Is yeah. that worth it? Mm -hmm. Is it good? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's hot. You let that sit in your mouth? Mm -hmm. Do you still have any skin left in your mouth? No. The rub of my mouth is gone. Is this not the best brownie? <laughs> it's so good, right? Yeah. It's such a simple concept too. I don't I don't know why other dessert places don't do that. You put your brownie on a sizzling plate with some ice cream. Mm. It makes it so much better. A regular brownie with ice cream is so boring. Mm -hmm. Put it on a sizzling plate, drizzle some chocolate into it. Home run. So this hotel, when you stay here, they give you a $50 credit to uh, one of two restaurants. The first one is the kitchen. The second one is called Sun's Out Buns Out. It's basically like an egg sandwich place. And I tried this the first day I was here at this casino. And this stuff is amazing. I remember saying that, that this food was amazing. So, <laughs> used up all my credit on this. First, got the poutine fries. Egg looks beautiful, looks just like a sunset. Short ribs on top, looks succulent and juicy. Covered in the egg yolk, and I think spicy mayo to dip the fries in. Ah, oh, so good. Try this when you come here. Like I said, the short rib is so Tender and juicy, covered in the egg yolk, gives it some extra creaminess. Oh, didn't even see the cheese curd down here. It wouldn't be poutine without cheese curd. Try a little bit of this dipping sauce. Mm. Oh yeah, a little spicy mayo added to this thing. If you're one of those people that wake up, not a morning person, go get dressed. You know that feeling you get when you staring at a beautiful sunset? Just imagine like, like eating that. Is that good? Oh, the sandwiches look so good. First of all, let me try the short rib. So short rib, egg, and cheese. There's a burger patty in here too. Oh, it's not a burger patty. It's a, not a hash brown patty. Oh, that's good. First of all, the quality of the egg is amazing. Hash browns brings a little crunch, that great mushy potato texture. The sauce is on point, butter buns are delicious. And just dip it in some of that spicy mayo. Mm. 
so good, so good, so good. This is the classic, egg bacon and cheese. First of all, bacon, regular bacon, but perfectly cooked. The key to this sandwich, I feel like, is really the butter buns and the quality of that egg. I mean, everything's just so gooey and fresh tasting. Mm. And the sandwich itself is just amazingly buttery and delicious. I would say, if you're staying at Resort World, 100% come and get one of your sandwiches. And I don't know really what the kitchen offers, which is the other place I could have spent this credit, but I got no regrets. This is amazing. Ever since the last time I did these um, Las Vegas sweet slash food videos, I mean, it used to be like, I really want to go out and, and explore the restaurants and eat over there. But now, unless it's a buffet, I really just like to lounge in my room, got a nice view of the strip, eat some food, take a bath. Also, like I said in the beginning, this video is sponsored by HelloFresh. Guys, I've been talking about HelloFresh for, I think this is my longest sponsoring. I'm still so excited when I see that box arrive at my doorstep. Although lately, because I've, I've been traveling, like Jen's been getting the boxes, a little jealous. And I don't know how you guys feel about this, but for me personally, I, I really hate going to the grocery store, especially around the holidays. There's too many people. And also like when I'm around food, I, I really can't control myself. So I always end up getting too much. And the two days before I leave, is always a scramble to pretty much eat everything in the fridge before it goes bad. With HelloFresh, it saves me time. They offer a variety of quick and easy recipes, including 20 minute meals. The prep is easy. The cleanup is easy. Most importantly, I wouldn't tell you guys to get this if it wasn't absolutely delicious. Seriously, never had a bad recipe. And that makes sense because HelloFresh has more five-star reviews than any other meal kit. And I know right now the holidays are super hectic. With HelloFresh, you can cut out a lot of grocery shopping time and you can keep things simple with their recipes and ingredients that not only cuts out grocery shopping and limits your prep times, so you can spend more time with your family. Also, there's less food waste. According to a study from the University of Michigan, HelloFresh cuts down your food waste by at least 25% compared to grocery shopping. So if you want to get this dry, go to HelloFresh.com and use the code CHEM14 for up to 14 free meals and three free gifts. Hopefully this food and hotel tour has been helpful for those of you planning on coming to Vegas. And as always, thank you all so much for watching. Until we eat again, see you later.